stream tonight, the last Monday in July. I want to thank you so much for taking a night out of your week to join me. I am personally really excited to head into August. I hope that you are too. If you want to, uh, please comment now. Let me know where you're watching from. I would love to greet you. Uh, our team is here to pray for you and to lift you up before the Father. And um, I just know that God is going to move tonight on the stream. And um, I'm going to be sharing something really exciting uh, with you tonight. I have a surprise for all of us. I hope that the surprise will be a blessing to you and your spiritual uh, journey. But without further ado, here's the surprise. My brand new book, the pre-order copies just arrived. The Warrior Bride. Y'all, I am so excited about this. This is actually, a lot of people don't know this. This is my 14th book that I've written. This is number seven that has been published with Destiny Image. They're one of the largest charismatic publishers in the world. But the book that I'm holding in my hand officially debuts online and in bookstores around the world September 5th. But here we are, July 31st, and we have a small shipment of copies pre-order that just got to our doorstep. So if you're on the stream tonight and you would like a copy, there's going to be a link that's going to be dropped in the comment section right now, or you can go to my website right above me, jeremiahjohnson.tv. But you are the first to hear that my new book, a couple of them just got here, The Warrior Bride. And I want to talk on the stream tonight about why I wrote this book, what was happening. I might even give you a couple of sneak peek reads. Um, but as I was preparing for tonight and the shipment just got here, I'm like, I've got to talk about the Warrior Bride. It has a subtitle, Conquering the Five Demonic Spirits That War Against God's End Time Church. You know, if I look at my journey and a lot of people are like, man, how have you written 14 books already? You know, <laughs> I tell people it's not really something that I boast in because there is so much work and so much labor, you know, I, I tell people, you know, writing books is, is like a, a type of birthing because God begins to do something in you and you begin to write. And, and all of my books have been different. You know, some people ask me, you know, what's it like writing books? I mean, I tell people I, I've written some in a week. Some of them have taken me years. But this most recent book it's honestly, like I said, it's not even out yet. You can't even, if you go to Amazon, they're going to tell you it ships September 5th or 6th. You know, if, if you order it right now, it can probably be to your, your, your doorstep, maybe by this Friday. I mean, maybe by early next week, but you need to hurry and grab one because there's a limited number of copies and we're reaching such a, a huge audience online that I don't want it to sell out before you can get a, your, your pre-order copy. Um, Emma Stark wrote the introduction and Cindy Jacobs wrote the foreword. So I'll kind of walk you through the book tonight and tell you um, about the dream. And I wanted to mention this is the first book that I wrote to my four kids. I wrote my last book and, and people, you might, if you're confused... Here we are in 2023. Yes, I published my 13th book in, in January of this year, Prophetic Pioneering, New Wineskins for a New Era. But this is the first year I've, I've, I've published two books in one year, 2023. So one in January, one in September now, The Warrior Bride. 
But, you know, prophetic pioneering, if you've read it, was all about my journey, church planning, and fivefold ministry, and all of, of those types of things. But the warrior bride, the, I don't know how many of you voted on it, but the warrior bride, I want you to look at the cover, commando boots, and then it has a wedding dress. This is literally the dream that I had that launched this book, that birthed it inside of me. It, it seeded it in seed form, and then the spirit of revelation came upon me. But I had this dream where I was hearing the hoofs of horses and I was hearing this, this war cry and I heard the sounding of a trumpet. And in the dream, I knew that I was in the end times. I, I knew that we were close. You know, many of you know, we recently went to Israel and we were up on the Temple Mount. And if you've ever been on the Temple Mount in Israel, you know, that was where the first and second temple were built and destroyed. You know, that's where they're planning on building a third one. Jesus is going to put his feet down in Washington, D.C. I'm just kidding. He's going to put his feet down on Mount Zion, the Mount of Olives, and then he's going to walk right through the Eastern Gate. I mean, it was amazing to see it recently, but I'm in this dream and I'm hearing the, the, the sounding of war and trumpets and, 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 and the end times. And all of a sudden, I see this beautiful bride, but to my shock in the dream, she has commando boots on. And all of a sudden in this dream, I'm like, this is not an ordinary bride. This is the warrior bride. And I knew in the dream that the warrior bride represented God's end time church and the the sound of war and, and the book of Revelation unfolding. So I'm in this dream and I'm seeing this warrior bride for the beautiful, stunning bride dressed in white with commando boots on. And I hear the voice of God in the dream beckon this bride to sit down at this long table. It was as, as far as my eyes could see, just an amazing, beautiful wooden table. And the warrior bride sits down and in the dream, a messenger comes to her and I see, I see this scroll in the dream and in the dream, I see on the scroll, this phrase, five fold warfare. And God immediately speaks to me in the dream and says to me, Jeremiah, you must warn the end time church of the fivefold warfare that's coming to oppose the warrior bride. And in the next scene in the dream, God begins to unpack to me five demonic strategies that Satan is going to unleash against the end time church. And so I wake up from this dream and I'm in like a state of revelation. I mean, it's powerful. And I start getting a download and start writing down everything that I heard, everything that I saw. And I get to writing this book. The Warrior Bride. Again, the subtitle is Conquering the Five Demonic Spirits That War Against God's End Time Church. So I write the manuscript. I reach out to the publisher. I reach out to some friends and they start giving me feedback. You know, obviously keep in mind, I've written 13 books and several of them have been number one bestsellers. So, I mean, I have a history of, of book writing and getting endorsements, but I, I start getting 
endorsements and, and people start giving me the best reviews. I mean, it's kind of like in publishing world, you're like convinced that every book that you write, you know, is your best one. But I want to read you James Gall. This is what he says about this brand new book, Warrior Bride. He said, I wept, I laughed, I was taught. And I'm like thinking James Gall is like a father in the prophetic movement. He's like old enough to be my grandfather. I'm like this book taught James Gall. He said, I was inspired to tell you everyone has something they can learn from this book. Patricia King, she said about this book, the warrior bride is a prophetic call to walk in victory over strategic assaults of the enemy. I had some other friends, Joseph Matera, who is the national convener of apostolic leaders in America. He says in this new book, Jeremiah Johnson deals with some of the common undealt with issues in the church that give the devil a foothold. In a very transparent manner, coupled with his vast ministry experience, his insights enable Christ followers to grow in discernment. He said, you have to read this book. And then finally, my friend John Kilpatrick, who is the founder uh, currently of the Church of His Presence, but most people know Pastor Kilpatrick as the pastor of Brownsville, the great move of God in, in the 90s. Pastor Kilpatrick read this book and said, I'm amazed at how the Holy Spirit is raising up just the right information at just the right time through the right person. He says, this is not just a book. It's an unfolding revelation. Jeremiah Johnson's new release is like high-tech armor sent straight from heaven. Now, you can imagine as a book author, I'm like, (laughs) I'm beyond humbled to receive these kinds of endorsements from just generals in the faith. But I'm, I'm reading this to you, not, not so that I can boast in any of that, but I'm reading it to you just to give you an idea of some of the reviews and some of the endorsements that are coming about concerning my new book, The Warrior Bride. I, I have a sense that it's going to give language to the end time church in this hour, but more than anything, like, wouldn't you just love to expose Satan? I mean, I I wrote this book to reveal to you his five demonic strategies that he's going to unleash against God's end time church. I mean, what, what commander going into battle wouldn't want to get intel and wouldn't want to hear information about what we're up against because God wants to equip his church. God doesn't want us to be ignorant about Satan's devices. And I just think more and more as we, we, we're living in the end times and we're getting closer to the return of Jesus Christ, some of us even, I, I think that the, 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 the picture on this book is so prophetic. You know, Jesus is coming back for for more than like a lethargic, apathetic, routine-driven, going through the motion bride that's sitting in her lazy boy watching entertainment. And some of us need to realize God is coming back for a church that's, you know, more than hiding out in the assemblies of God, you know, uh, praying for the rapture. You know, God is coming back for a warrior bride. God is coming back. When, When I had this dream, this woman was not only in commando boots, she had an amazing sword. We know that the word of God is the sword of the spirit. So, 
If you're interested in reading it, I want to, I want to, you're the first ones that can get it a month in advance. Go get it. But I just, I know there are people here like, man, what a teaser, Jeremiah. You're not even going to tell us what the five demonic strategies are. Listen, I'm going to tell you tonight what the five demonic strategies are. Some of you thought he's leading us on. He just wants us to read his book. Of course, I want you to read my book. That's why I wrote it. But for some of you, God is knocking on the door of your heart. He's telling you through this live stream tonight, it's time to gear it up. It's time to get ready for battle. The church in America specifically, we have to shift out of this audience mentality into an army. We have to begin to get equipped concerning spiritual warfare. Do you know how many Christians don't know how to cast demons out of people? They've literally, they've never been through a a, a warfare class. They've never been trained in healing and prophecy and how to confront demonic strategies in their family. So what, what, what was the fivefold warfare? I saw this scroll in the dream and God begins to talk to me about five demonic strategies that Satan is going to release against the end time church. And without further ado, here they are. Number one, family warfare. I saw written on this scroll, one of Satan's primary strategies against God's end time church is going to be family warfare. Marriage is under attack like no other time in history. Satan is unleashing strong warfare against children. We've got to get equipped. I wrote a whole chapter in this book about how to get equipped concerning family warfare. For many people, that one chapter is what you need right now. Secondly, I wrote a chapter called Stop Tolerating Jezebel. Guys, even in the book of Revelation, it says to they that overcome Jezebel, I'll give you the keys to authority. But folks, how many people you could be watching tonight? I travel all over the nation and the world. You know how many times I hear people say, the spirit of Jezebel isn't even real. It was just a queen in the Bible. And the fact that people do not believe in the modern day existence of Jezebel is actually what gives it its power. And so God wants to alert a generation to stop tolerating Jezebel. Stop being passive concerning sin and seduction and sexuality. That was the second one. I've got a whole chapter in here on Jezebel. Third, I'm exposing the religious spirit. There is a satanic attack and assault like we've never seen before in history coming. And it's here concerning the religious spirit. I even wrote a follow-up chapter about how to overcome religious persecution. I mean, it seems like one out of two emails or messages this ministry gets is about people that the life is being choked out of them because they believe they're under religious persecution. How do you overcome that? What does that even look like? I take you through the book of Acts, and I wrote an entire chapter on overcoming religious persecution. So the first strategy, family warfare. Secondly, I'm talking about stop tolerating Jezebel. Third, I'm talking about the religious spirit Fourth, I saw the orphan spirit. This is another one of those things where people say, I'm a believer. I'm, I'm the blood of Jesus. I, I, the orphan spirit, I, it's done away with. But everything in their life and in their choices says that they're underneath the influence 
of the orphan spirit. I wrote, maybe my favorite chapter I wrote is unmasking the orphan spirit, identifying it. Listen, I know some of us are like, I've already heard teaching on the orphan spirit. I'm just telling you, people that endorse this book that have been around the body of Christ for decades wrote to me and said they've never heard teaching anywhere like this about the orphan spirit. And I'm not claiming that I'm someone special. I'm just telling you, I had a divine encounter in heaven with the warrior bride, God exposing to me the coming attacks of the orphan spirit. We need to expose it. We need to search our own hearts and get delivered from it. And then fifthly, witchcraft attack. I even wrote a chapter called the accusation room, but I saw the powers of witchcraft. Some of you saw me interview Jenny Weaver, Ryan Lestrange, but there's a coming witchcraft attack. A lot of people are like, oh, I don't know any witches. I don't know anybody that casts spells. Folks, I'm warning you right now. As we continue on in the end times, witchcraft is primarily going to come through pulpits. And because people are looking for witches and warlocks, they're not even realizing that the power of witchcraft is going to be unleashed against fall, uh, through false prophets like never before. So in this book, I expose the five demonic strategies that were revealed to me against the end time church. You can get the book, explains it in detail, shares stories from my life, revelation that the Lord gave me, but I wouldn't do a proper job explaining to you even the foundation of the book if I didn't mention to you that I wrote two chapters in here on one is called the gates of hell and the other is called the supremacy of Christ. Because what I found in my own Christian journey is that there is an imbalance and there is an overemphasis on demons and Satan in the charismatic movement. And we don't have enough foundational teaching helping us to understand as believers our authority over the dem I don't want you to think all oh, another book exalting Satan and his demons. That's not what the warrior bride is about. The warrior bride is about exposing Satan's strategies and equipping a bride to rule and reign with Christ. It's about teaching the church that the gates of hell are not going to prevail against us. But you know what? We have to build his church. One of the phrases that I use in this book is called demon daycares. I'm actually convinced that many of the places that we're calling churches are nothing more than demon daycares where people are saying Christians can't have demons. Listen, Christians, real born again believers cannot be possessed by the devil. If you are a born again believer, you're possessed by Christ. However, there could be places in your life that are under demonic influence that you need deliverance from. And this book is going to teach you how to get victory over the devil and how to use your authority in Christ, in Jesus' name. Well, I want to once again encourage you, grab the book. You can go to my website, be one of the first to grab a copy. Again, it's going to be sold in bookstores online around the world starting September 5th. But just for a limited time, just over the next, I'm sure they'll sell out, but just over the next couple of days, grab a copy, get one for a friend. It's got great reviews. I'm just encouraged by what God is doing in the body. But I want to pray for all of our viewers right now who are watching that God would deliver us from this mentality that the church is supposed to be apathetic, unengaged, hiding in the four walls until the rapture comes. Nope. 
God's going to raise up a warrior bride. And then some of us, we're ignorant to Satan's devices. We don't have any teaching on the Jezebel spirit. We, we've, we've never even heard of the orphan spirit. What does that look like? Am I operating in it? Some of us, God is trying to wake up and alert us to what's happening in the world around us. So let's pray. Father, we just lift the name of Jesus up this last day in July, July 31st. We thank you for this night. Lord, we thank you for what you're doing in the earth. We thank you that you are raising up a radiant, spotless bride that has commando boots on, a warring, victorious, triumphant bride. Lord, we say yes. Lord, I pray that you would shift mindsets tonight out of an audience into an army. Lord, I pray that you would use this book, Lord, to release revelation concerning who we are in Christ. God, I pray that you would use this book to expose Satan. He comes to kill, to steal, to destroy, to deceive. Lord, I pray that you would expose him in this book and that you would release tools and strategies for victory. Jesus, we love you. And it's in your name we pray. Amen and amen. Folks, thanks for joining the stream tonight. Stay updated with us about what God is doing in the month of August. Lots of exciting things happening with the Altar Global, the Altar School. We're just excited to head into the month of August and we hope you are too. One more time, grab the book while it's still in stock. We'll see you next Monday. Bye-bye.